welcome welcome friends in our ssis tutorial section here we are going to show you how to move, copy a file after data processing or in case if there is any error in the file then how we can copy this file to another location so in this uh, video we are going to explain this kind of stuff so basically we can do this tag by using two different control first is our skip control you need to write some custom code to meet uh, to meet your uh, requirement another is file system system task is the another component uh, which is able to copy your file from one location to another location if you want to do that now we are going to declare some variable like this now you can see we have a first variable that is file name it contains actual file name then file path where is the file located like this now you can see we have the that is file path and that is the file name okay now we are using full file path that is uh, getting the value based on the expression like this now you can see here we have concat file path and file name like this and this is the full file path value okay now we are using run date time now if you want to uh, copy a file then we need to uh, generate the run date time for this what we are going to do that is your expression base first of all we are getting the get date uh, year from the get date and a uh, month from the get date and uh, days from the get date same here we are getting the hours minute and second like this now you can see that is the actual uh, run running date time you can see if i am going to uh, change you it will change in every second okay now uh, we have the another variable that relocation full file path so it is also expression based uh, uh, like this now you can see here i am using the full file path and run date time variable and the actual file name like this if i am going to show you that would be like this so this is the file name and that is the actual file we are going to concate run current run date running date time and actual file name okay now you can see uh, we have the five variables over here which are going to be used in our um, file system task just drop it into control flow section okay and in the edit property in the edit uh, file system task editor you can see uh, each destination path variable yes okay that is true now destination destination variable so our destination variable is relocation full file path okay if you want to overwrite destination it should be true if you are going to copy the same file again and again but in our case we are adding current run date run time date time so there is no need to be as it true so in the operation type it should be copy is source uh, path variable should be true now you can see we are going to show you the um, our that is our variable name is okay now click on okay button and just going to uh, we are going to run our package like this now you can see the file name has been generated copy the next name same here we are going to re run the package now you can see next file has been generated so it is very easy to copy a file with the help of script uh, file system task in ssis